As the country's power woes continue to deepen, students at the Kumase Polytechnic are being ingenious with the manufacturing of bags embedded with solar panels. These bags have accompanying charging systems that could charge laptops, phones and tablets. And that is not all the students are trying their hands on. They have begun assembling solar-powered laptops. They have also begun installing solar panels in garments capable of charging phones. So this is the solar panel which attracts the sun rays, converts it into solar energy that is stored in the garment. There is a storage device in that is a battery. And then it, we now appropriate the power into the various sections. That is light. Here you can switch on the light. And then there is music. You can listen to music from the garment. And also this one, it will help you to charge your mobile phone through this garment that you are wearing. The Faculty of Creative Arts and Technology is spearheading the new breed of scientists capable of solving contemporary challenges. Solar and electricity powered fufu pounding machines and dresses made from plastic waste are part of their array of innovations. This is where students come around and they gather these waste rubbers and try to make something like this, a wedding gown. And aside it, it in, internally, it's, it's a different material together. Rector of the Polytechnic, Professor Ensuwa Niyama, says Polytechnic education should be repositioned to address national challenges. When we realize that this service should come and people, you call somebody, said, oh, uh, yesterday I couldn't charge my phone, so that's why you are not getting me. We decided to see how best we can improve the system. We have this solar shed. For young guys, the, the shirt itself has the radio. The shirt itself has a, a MP3. And you, you can also be charging your mobile phone at the same time. We also thought of uh, ladies' bags that can also charge their phones. He says the vision of converting polytechnics into universities is timely. Polytechnic education everywhere is practical oriented. That is why now we thought that we should do what we are supposed to do. And especially when next year the polytechnics are converted to technical universities. There should be a gap, a difference between technical university education and then the traditional uh, university education. The Kumase Polytechnic is among few educational institutions currently exhibiting their products at the ongoing 19th trade fair. With just a day to go, some traders at the fair are complaining of low sales. Sales are not booming at all for this fair is very slow we are expecting that once you are showing us we believe the people out there will hear us today to the day that we will finish the fair there will be patronage ghana's international trade fair was introduced as a platform to showcase ghanaian products to prospective customers home and abroad